No delay. The trial of Boston Marathon bombing suspects will start Monday. As planned, the federal appeals court rejected a request by defense attorneys to try to move the trial or hold a hearing on the issue. 21-year-old Jokar Zarnayev is accused of bombing the Boston Marathon nearly two years ago, killing several people and injuring more than 260 others. CCTV's Nick Harper reports on concerns over how fair this trial will be as a jury selection is about to get underway. Jokar Zanayev stands accused of carrying out one of the worst terrorist attacks on American soil. But he's standing trial in the city he allegedly bombed. Zanayev pleaded not guilty to all 30 charges stemming from the April 2013 attack, including the use of a weapon of mass destruction. Stories of Zanayev saturated the local media, and that will make jury selection tough. I think it's not going to be easy to find totally impartial jurors. Uh, the judge is very aware of that. Uh, the original jury pool will have approximately 1,200 people from eastern Massachusetts. And um, the judge will ask extensive questions of that pool and determine if anybody has made up their mind before they actually sit. And that process starts here at the Moakley Courthouse on Monday. Several days of intense questioning to pick 12 unbiased jurors. But trying to find people who don't have an opinion about this case is likely to prove difficult. Zanayev's defense team filed motions to move the trial twice. Both were denied by the U.S. District Judge George O'Toole. Boston's hometown newspaper considers that a mistake. A January 2nd Boston Globe op-ed piece said there is no step O'Toole can take short of transferring the trial outside Massachusetts that will alleviate the threat of the Constitution's promise of a fair trial. There's precedent for a venue change in cases such as this one. The U.S. government tried Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh in Denver, Colorado. But Judge O'Toole said the McVeigh case is not pertinent. Do you think a fair trial is possible? Um, it should be. However, that's kind of in the hands of the American public at this point. I feel like their perception is a lot of it. Whether or not a fair jury can be found is a lot of it, and that's, that's going to have to do with the public. But NYU professor Salvatore Felica says the extensive media coverage of the bombing will make it almost impossible to find jurors with no prior knowledge of the case. No one can possibly be um, unaware of what's been going on. With the immense publicity that can be generated in this culture, um, a jury pool will definitely be, you know, polluted. If found guilty, Sanayev could face the death penalty on 17 of the charges. In the aftermath of the bombing, Boston proved it could be strong. The question now is whether the city can also be fair. Nick Harper, CCTV, Boston.